Hi, I'm Bob Canote, and on this episode of the Camp Chaos Chronicles, we're going to do a review of a product that we offer on the Jaguar Preserve website, the Jaguar V12 Engine Leveler. I think you need one of these. This is what I used for about 10 years. It's the very common beam type. You can buy this particular one at Harbor Freight for, I believe, $45. And it's pretty simple. It's got a main beam. It's got holes and slots in the end for chains to attach to the engine. It's got this carriage in the middle that has a 516 steel loop on it, a round nut, a lead screw and a crank and a couple of nuts. Why is this thing not worthy of my use anymore? Well, this thing, I mean, if you, this is how it basically came and it didn't get any better with any adjustment. It's just sloppy. And while it did the job, it did two things. First of all, it was not enjoyable to use. And secondly, it damaged the engine when I used it. And let me show you what I mean. Well, here's the leveler in its natural environment. What I'm doing right now is transferring this engine that I'm rebuilding for a client to the running stand that I featured in an earlier episode or two. And this will illustrate why I did this. If this were a beam type, like that black one that I showed you earlier, you'd have a chain running from here down to this lifting point right here. And the problem is it'd be running right through this cam cover right here. Plus you've got this regulator in the way and uh, you'd have to be removing things. And also when you're taking the engine out, it's not a big deal because you're going to be refinishing the cam covers anyway. But when you put the engine back in, if you got a chain running from there, up to there, you're gonna to have to put rags in between the cover and the chain. You're still gonna mar it, particularly as you move the engine up and down. It's, uh, it's just a much better design to have that chain running vertically from the end of each one of these legs down to the engine. Plus the fact that this thing just works so much smoother. It's so much, it's a joy to use. And this hand crank right here, it's billet aluminum and uh, there's as many parts from here up to there as there are in that entire black beam unit that I showed you earlier. It's, uh, even when you've got the engine over at extremes one way or the other, it's just a joy to use. Now this thing is a real workhorse around here. As I said, in this case, we're transferring this engine from one stand to another. In this case, we're using a chain hoist that I've got attached to a lug that is bolted into a couple of joists in the ceiling. We also use this with the uh, regular uh, floor type cherry picker that just simply hooks onto the lug like you see right here. Uh, also, I use it quite often with the tractor, the 450 International. It's got a hook under the bucket which I hook onto it and whenever we're transferring an engine or anything heavy for that matter that we can hook onto with this thing from a pallet outside to get it in the shop, um, we use this thing. It's very versatile and I have no idea how many times we've used this during the course of a year. And uh, takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Now there is some assembly required although it's not real complicated. And the first thing we'll do is we'll just simply install the eyelet. And you want to orient them crosswise like this, perpendicular to the center line of the beam, main beam of the, the leveler, so that the carabiners are going to attach to the lifting eyes on the engine without a twist in them. So it works best that way. Grade 8 washer, grade 8 nylock nut, 
Grade eight is probably overkill for this, but you know what? We are talking about a big old lump of stuff hanging off of the bottom of these chains. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these and then do the same thing to the other three. I'll take a screwdriver, pop the cap off the end of the handle, and there's a shoulder bolt in the inside that allows us to put the bolt on that secures the handle. Tighten up the bolt. and put the cap back on and there's our handle now as far as the chains are concerned they all have 10 links to them and the carabiners i think we're all pretty familiar with how these work but there is some a couple of points i'd like to make first of all i think it's helpful to put one carabiner on the end and then slide it over the eyelet and then when you tighten up the cap here, the threaded nut, be sure that it is engaged all the way down to the bottom. Because what will happen otherwise is that this will get pulled out as far as wherever the nut is. And then it will make it hard to engage it later. And what we can do then is take, take the second carabiner and place it wherever you want it, whatever gives you the most clearance to do what you need to do. I carry it in the seventh link, which works well with my cherry picker. And there you go. This one to the eyelet, this one to the lifting lug on the engine. Now some things that uh, we should consider when we're using the tool is that the handle should always be toward the back of the engine. If you have it on this end toward the cherry picker side of it, the handle will interfere with the uh, beam of the cherry picker or the engine hoist as you ro try to rotate the handle. Uh, another thing before each use, what you want to do is you want to lubricate the lead screw. Also the friction points. This one right here is particularly important, the one with the two hardened washers next to the mounting tab on the beam. Uh, down here as well, that's not as critical. This one up here is really critical. So um, that should just about do it. Um, it's, this thing will actually lift the engine and transmission out of a Jaguar XJS or the V12 and uh, have shown absolutely no signs of failure even when the ground strap has been forgotten to be disconnected and part of the car is being lifted as well so this thing is a really safe tool to use but you know anything can go wrong if you uh, if you don't use the tool properly so uh, there you go the jaguar preserve Jaguar B12 dedicated engine level.